Hi friends, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. On today's Sunday gear review, powered by Big Tech's Ordnance, I wanna to talk to you today about the Holosun 403C. This one's in green. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know that I've been running a red, uh, uh, not a red dot, red power variable optic on my defensive carbine for a long time. And I talk about that and properly resourced defensive carbine and all those things, but I'm always in the mood to kind of test and check and see what's going on. So I bought, went ahead and bought this optic at Big Tech's ordinance and you should buy your stuff at Big Tech's. Ike and Chris, the whole crew there, incredible people. They ship like stupid lightning fast and uh, they stand behind their products and they only stock good stuff. One of the things that I love is if it's on their website, it's probably a quality product. They don't stock crap, which is delightful. So um, this one in green on their website was like 245 bucks. Now, the, the really appealing thing to that is, is of course, this looks very much like an Aimpoint T1 or an Aimpoint T2. Um, it's not, I'm not gonna argue that it's the exact same optic, but you're talking about 250 bucks instead of, I mean, a T2 right now is like $800 or something wherever you go. A T1, you probably pick up for like six or something like that. So 650 maybe. And, and so you're talking a third to a quarter of the cost. Um, it, it, now, of course, the question is, is it reliable? Is it gonna do what you need it to do? Does it hold up under use? Is it clear, is it visible? Does it do the things we need on a rifle that we would uh, depend our life on? Um, I, you know, I think yes, actually. I think that at the end of the day, this guy has some nice features uh, going for it and it has some, uh, some really good stuff and it's relatively cheap. And so I think it's good. Comes right out of the box on a, with a 163 mount. You can also put a real low mount on it if you were gonna use this in another fashion, like say, for instance, you were gonna do this on a crom mount for a shotgun or uh, on a pistol or something like that. You could do it on a real low riser or a different one as well. But right out of the box, they send it with what they refer to as a lower one third co-witness, which means from the top of the Picatinny rail to your dot is 1.63 inches. Now, you know that in the low power variable optics world, I like a little higher. I'd rather have a 193 mount, but the 163 is just fine. It does okay. Uh, you gotta get your head down to it a little bit or bring the gun up to you a little bit higher or change your cheek weld a little bit, but it's not bad. And, and it's in the box for your 245 bucks. So you can't argue with that. Um, a couple of things that I really like about it is, is if you notice here, your, your windage and your elevation is hiding underneath these uh, little covers. And that means that they won't get messed with and they won't get changed when you do that. But the top of this, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, is the kind of um, the little doily that you need in order to turn this. The clicks on it are, are good and positive, and uh, it's got 50 minute of, minutes of angle worth of adjustment both ways. And once you get it adjusted, screw that back down and they won't be messed with, and that is a nice little feature. I also like that the battery tray is really easily accessible. So it's a CR2032 battery to stick. It's 50,000 hours of battery life. Of course, that's on the lowest setting. If you put it up in the mid settings, you're probably looking at about 20,000 hours of battery life and you're like, ooh, that's less. Guys, there's like 8,700 hours in a year. So you're talking, if you stick it in the safe, it's got two years of battery life. And of course, we always recommend all of your optics every year on your birthday or the 4th of July or the first of the year, set your date and simply change every battery that you got. Batteries are cheap and I wouldn't recommend skimping out on them, but you could go a little longer. And this guy does have um, the solar fail safe on it. I don't think I'd want to test that solar fail safe at all and I wouldn't want to come near it, but battery life on it is more than adequate. Now you can actually get it a little cheaper if you wanted the dot to be red. I just personally see green better. And so for me, the green for an extra like 20 bucks was totally worth it. So I went ahead and did that, or I think it was actually like 15 bucks more on Big Tech's website. So whatever, that that's a non-issue for me. Uh, if you wanted to save that money, you could. Uh, it is a two minute of angle dot, which is a very fine aiming reticle all the way out to, you know, I, I've rung steel with this guy out to 250 yards without any issue whatsoever. You know, you, it, anything beyond that, of course, you're going to have PID issues if you really needed to shoot at that kind of distance. And I get it. Marines are gonna be like, yeah, we qualified with irons up to 500 yards. Yes, I understand. We're talking about not a, a war zone here. We're not talking about military rules of engagement. We're talking about private citizen defensive use. I think anything out past 200 yards is probably not within your scope, but if you had to muster up with your militia to defend hearth and home, again, go and read the classifications and categories of militia. I'm not talking about 
you know, uh, overthrown the government or any of that stuff. I'm saying that every man between 18 and 45 years old is a member of the unorganized militia and should be able to muster up to defend their community if the need arises. Uh, and that's just part of codification of the Code of Federal Regulation in United States law. It is part of our history. So um, I think this would work okay for that. I might want to have a set of binoculars somewhere else in the kit, so then that way I can ID at longer distances. But uh, it works really good for that. Anyways, I think that it's a, a really easy and useful thing. Now, it's a dot, right? So I have astigmatism. I had my eyes shot. I had LASIK in 2006. I still have 2020 vision, but I still also have a little bit of astigmatism. So I don't get to see a nice, crisp, bright, like simple dot. I get to see an amoeba is what I get to see. That's with any red dot. The only thing, uh, it's one of the reasons on my uh, pistol mounted optic, I went with the circle only is because um, I can see so much better and I don't get the astigmatism with that. They haven't put that optic, uh, that, that reticle on a, a, a rifle, optic, so I'm not using it. I know you guys wanna see me shoot it a little bit. I think it's a little uh, gratuitous actually in a gear review. I mean, you guys can see we've got it on here, got me on other videos using it specifically in dry fire. I've shot about a thousand rounds through this guy, just kind of working through it on the range. I don't do Cowan's like drop tests or any of that stuff. I, 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 it's just not part of what I do or part of my kind of, you know, MO, but let's shoot it a little bit so you can see it. All right, nothing super special here, just standing at seven yards. Let's load them up. And again, so, so the thing I like about a dot is it's fast acquisition and infinite eye relief, okay? So the, the red dot optic here, super fast. Let's verify. Yeah, indeed, I got one in the chamber. I don't want to be a bad instructor. Um, again, so I can just uh, see it here. Let me extend this out just a little bit. Eyes and ears are on. Very good. So, you know, you can see at this kind of elevation, one of the nice parts here of a good dot is if I'm smart, I've got my dot in the window comes and the shot breaks just that fast, right? We're not trying to go super fast here, but I'll say when you look through it, it's clear as a bell. I mean, um, and, and one of the things that I do love, whether it's a low power variable optic or a rifle optic as opposed to iron sights, is for instance, I'm out here looking at a B8 and I can see about another five or six inches on either side. So, uh, and combined with both eyes open, I actually have complete visibility of the target. So when I'm looking through this and not focusing on the front sight, I can see everything about the target, even though I have my optic on the target. So one of those things of not coming up with your pistol at a high mount and pointing it at the chest is because you won't be able to see their hands. You won't be able to see their waist. Well, with a, an optic you can, which is one of the reasons I like this. So again, let's just get set up here. Cool. So you can see we're just you know running a few shots and i really like this uh for the clarity of it i like it for the simplicity of it i like that it's uh, you know it's a very uncomplicated system right so it's not there's not a whole lot there to worry about um i don't have to worry about eye relief that's kind of it, it could be a big deal to you depending on what you're doing if you're doing short stock weirdness or you know you're doing little stuff around corners it's not really a part of my kind of mission statement but works really good so i, I mean this guy I really like, and I, I think that for the money, especially, it's it's a thing, right? So listen, I want you guys to be completely aware. Again, Big Texas is a sponsor, have been for years. Love Ike and Maddie and the entire crew. I think they are phenomenal partners. Um, Hollis and I have no relationship with. I, I've met Luis, so I did an interview with him at the HK thing last year that you guys got to see here on the channel. And I think that the company makes quality products and they make them at a crazy good price. I think they're durable enough for private citizen defensive use as well as law enforcement duty use. And so um, a 403C for 250 bucks, I'm in baby.